Welcome to the Liturgy of the Hours, a tradition of prayer whose origins date from the time of King David. Brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents, the Liturgy of the Hours is the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God for all time. This is morning prayer for Monday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. It is the Feast of the Most Holy Name of Mary. Morning prayer will be taken from the Common of Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Blessed are you, O Mary, for the world's salvation came forth from you. Now in glory, you rejoice forever with the Lord. Intercede for us with your Son. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet, and my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Father, creator of unfailing light, give that same light to those who call to you. May our lips praise you, our lives proclaim your goodness, our works give you honor, and our voices celebrate you forever. Blessed are you, O Mary, for the world's salvation came forth from you. Now in glory, you rejoice forever with the Lord. Intercede for us with your Son.
You are the glory of Jerusalem, the joy of Israel. You are the fairest honor of our race. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Night and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all weather creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. You are the glory of Jerusalem, the joy of Israel. You are the fairest honor of our race. O Virgin Mary, how great your cause for joy! God found you worthy to bear Christ our Savior. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand, to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Let Israel rejoice in you, Lord, and acknowledge you as Creator and Redeemer. We put our trust in your faithfulness and proclaim the wonderful truths of salvation. May your loving kindness embrace us now and forever. O Virgin Mary, how great your cause for joy! God found you worthy to bear Christ our Savior. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice like a bride bedecked with her jewels.
The Lord has chosen her, his loved one from the beginning. He has taken her to live with him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one, from the beginning. Eve shut all her children out of paradise. The Virgin Mary opened wide its gates. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Eve shut all her children out of paradise. The Virgin Mary opened wide its gates. Let us glorify our Savior, who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Son of Justice, the Immaculate Virgin was the white dawn announcing your rising. Grant that we may always live in the light of your coming. Eternal Word, you chose Mary as the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Free us from the corruption of sin. Savior of mankind, your mother stood at the foot of your cross. Grant through her intercession that we might rejoice to share in your passion. With ultimate generosity and love, you gave Mary as a mother to your beloved disciple. Help us to live as worthy sons of so noble a mother. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, may the prayers of the Virgin Mary bring us protection from danger and freedom from sin, that we may come to the joy of your peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to life everlasting. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Monday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time and the Feast of the Most Holy Name of Mary. Produced in Dallas, Texas, Morning Prayer is brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents, a worldwide Catholic association of lay people who pray the Divine Office daily as part of their rule of life. Sacred music has been provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, a monastic community of women who desire to imitate the Blessed Virgin Mary in the giving of herself to God. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God for all time, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>